Okay, so I haven't made an update in a long time for my LED grow lights. Uh, I've learned quite a bit since then, and here's what I got. So the bottom light right now has three 30 watt LEDs, which are, they call full spectrum, but really they're more in the blue and the red. Uh, these are phosphor type LEDs so one LED has the blend of color because they mix different phosphors. Now on my top row if you'll notice uh, I have three 30 watt LEDs there but also I have a couple of green LEDs. Now, I couldn't put uh, six green LEDs because my power supply is just at the break uh, at the edge of uh, protection but I, I was able to put uh, four LEDs and these LEDs have lenses so they point to uh, down on my uh, tomatoes and basically the tomatoes are growing a little stringy right now so that suggests to me that they don't have enough light and they're growing toward the light also it also suggests that I may need some lateral light so I'm gonna work on lateral light that's why I didn't try to put too many top lights because I was planning on putting some lateral lights now I'm gonna get a close-up on the plants and try to see uh, try to see the color that they actually come Now the bottom is at about 20 inches and I'm growing small things like strawberries, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, uh, small tomatoes, lettuce and well more lettuce. So under the green, uh, under the grow light, the plants look bland, gray and sick. Well, let me pull them but under the fluorescent light here the plant looks great um, nice and full and there's nothing wrong with this lettuce Now the green LEDs were an afterthought, so I just put them in yesterday while the system was uh, mounted on the ceiling. So it's not as you know it would be if I remade the lamp, but I will use some uh, green LEDs in combination with these uh, full spectrum uh, quote unquote. Uh, LED lights. Alright so I have a second LED grow lamp here. Uh, this one the shelf is at 24 inches. Actually the bottom of the shelf is at 22 inches. Um, underneath I have some lettuce, goji and also some strawberries. At the top, 
at the top I have some cucumbers uh, so I have a pickling cucumber which is flowering that one I have to pollinate the rest are all greenhouse cucumbers which all make female plants and I don't have to pollinate them right next to it are some roses and um, at the base of the rose I've planted some onions and uh, you can see it's growing nicely again uh, the color is just fantastic but under the grow light it doesn't seem that good over here I have uh, another rose which is not as vigorous uh, but it's still growing it was planted three weeks ago um, yesterday uh, at the bottom I do have some uh, carrots growing and uh, this one is a red rose and uh, the red rose is doing nice uh, doing nicely and it has some chives growing at the bottom so this is going to be a multi-purpose uh, indoor garden so in the bottom uh, I've planted some of the strawberries uh, two weeks ago these are Albion strawberries so I intend to have strawberries year-round under the grow light so uh, and uh, next to it are some goji uh, let's see if we can zoom in the goji uh, grows very nicely now it's been stunted early on and there's different stages of growth uh, the goji is going to be planted outside uh, as the uh, summer comes and um, so I have like close to uh, 100 plants of uh, goji plants uh, but before they plant it outside I intend to clone them to uh, make more so I can uh, either provide the local people with uh, goji plants or make uh, boost my uh, local uh, crop here now, over here I have some lettuce which is four weeks old. I don't know if I zoom in, you can see that it's uh, doing all right. This is uh, iceberg lettuce. Not my favorite type of lettuce, but you know, uh, because of the core. But uh, it's growing well. And underneath, you will see the different colors of lights I'm using right now. Uh, section uh, two different colors of red two different colors of blue and one green in this section and on the other side instead of one uh, of the two green uh, I'm using two uh, white lights but the white lights are uh, very high in um, in uh, color temperature I think it's a 10,000 or, or so, a little high, um, but I do prefer just using the straight colors because the efficiency is so much better than the phosphorus uh, type of LED. Now underneath my 4x8 grow light here, I have uh, some lettuce, a few tomatoes which are not looking so good. Um, I do have some herbs that I've planted just yesterday. Um, some uh, more tomatoes over there which are doing much better and some herbs right there so the herbs I've uh, I had to buy from the local uh, the local store uh, fully grown because I had difficulty growing them from seed and it's probably because the, the uh, seed uh, mix that I the, the dirt mix that I had at the time which was poor uh, that I've had some difficulty um, also I have some peppers over there and some more tomatoes and so I'm trying to grow different heirloom tomatoes now if you notice the uh, table here and the bottom of the table is quite empty well that's because I have room now for other things to grow so they'll be filled quite quickly 
once I have uh, uh, once I've uh, started seeding again now at the bottom of the table uh, or the bottom of the lamp you will see uh, the electronic drivers over there it's temporary temporarily prop uh, temporarily uh, put onto uh, some chairs to just to hold them but so I have a variety of colors in there uh, two red I have uh, just one a deep red underneath um, I have some um, full spectrum so some phosphorus LEDs uh, full spectrum I also have some green and two types of blue so one deep blue and one uh, cyan and uh, so it makes a, an interesting mix of colors and the plants just love the uh, the mix of colors and they uh, want to flower underneath that as well so uh, it's a it's a good mix we'll see uh, the different the different plants will like different colors and they will grow differently with the different colors so basically I want to verify that the lettuce grows better or not as well under a certain type of color and of course different types of lettuce will grow more uh, thicker leaves under blue and things like that so it's really experimental at this point okay so this is the this is the bottom of the uh, the uh, grow lamp that we saw earlier with the cucumbers now if I go back at the top uh, you can see I have uh, three LEDs which are 30 watts and these LEDs are powered by a 24 volt power supply I will add some green LEDs to make the light a little uh, more balanced now the green LEDs are good for the beta carotene so I sort of need that for different pigments and there's a 12 volt uh, 24 volt power supply so basically that's the uh, setup that I have in grow lights and it's still under construction that's why I have everything laid down and also I'm a bit of a messy guy um, so more lights to be uh, built more vegetables to be grown so this fall I should have an ample supply of vegetables also when you grow as many vegetables inside or whatever plants inside you do need some ventilation so I had to get some um, uh, ventilator an air exchanger just for this purpose just for taking out the stale air 